What's up YouTube, Program Fiverr. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over all information that we have for Call of Duty and Vanguard, including campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. Yes, zombies is make out your way to Vanguard. So if you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on all the social media, that'd be on the description below. Make sure to post every time I go live, I put a video. Go ahead and subscribe to your shower chat in King Alpha. The links will be in the description below, as well as a link to the Discord if you guys do want to be part of the community. So let's get right to the video. So we'll start off here with the campaign experience and includes the battles of World War II. As you fight for victory across multiple theaters of war, the Call of Duty Vanguard campaign will immerse you in a deeply engaging and gripping character-driven narrative experience featuring combat on an upheld global scale while also telling the harrowing stories of those who turn the tides of the war and change history forever. Multiplayer. Become the vanguards of the changing face of war as you make your mark across Call of Duty signatures, core gunplay, and multiplayer's experience in Zombies. Prove your mettle as you try to survive the uh, relentless onslaught of the undead and the chilling new zombie experience developed by Treyarch. Yes, Treyarch is taking over zombies for Vanguard, and I'm pretty sure that for, for zombies here on out will be done by Treyarch. I don't think each studio is going to do their own zombies. I think they're going to do have uh, Treyarch just do zombies for here on out, which probably is the best decision because Treyarch is the best at making zombies. So let's continue here. Uh, from uh, This is basically telling you what's in the game. So campaign with all four fronts of the war. Multiplayer with 16 core, 60 feet, 6v6 maps total, maps in, 20 maps in total. Zombies developed by Treyarch and Warzone with it be a new map and new anti-cheat system. And get to know a whole new cast of characters including Sergeant Arthur Kingsley. So these are the uh, main characters. Lieutenant Poland Petrov. Captain Wade Jackson and Second Lieutenant Lucas Riggs, and more campaign footage be coming soon, like maybe next the next week. So we should be getting some maybe some campaign footage soon. They say maybe next week, so maybe next week. Vanguard's multiplayer features new ways to play with combat pacing options, standard normal multiplayer blitz, pack as many players as possible to a map, intense and chaos, tactical hardcore style. Every bullet matters, lower player counts. Some of these um, um, Twitter posts have links to them to um, like news wires, well, like, you know, explain a bit more. Which I have um, the ones post that I uh, pulled up to uh, talk about had some of them had them, so we're going to be on over those as well. COD Vanguard multiplayer introduces new combat pace and gameplay options. Um, so Chamber Games is using new ways to filter combat pacing and Call of Duty Vanguard's multiplayer offering new play styles and experiences. Call of Duty Vanguard's multiplayer will feature 20 maps at launch, with 16 of them being core, 6v6 maps to players to experience. While full details of Vanguard's multiplayer experience are still to be announced by Activision Sledgehammer, the first details on new features have been confirmed. As part of the multiplayer experience, Sledgehammer games is introducing new ways to play in the Vanguard world. New way to play is called combat pacing. Players are able to select combat pacing within the filtered multiplayer, allowing players to pick between the three different pacing options, tactical, standard, blitz. I'm guessing that it depends on how you play, you know, there's, if you play different than others, then, you know, you'd pick a different option. Tactical play is similar to that of hardcore experience of Tactical Duty games. Tactical in increases the time to combat with intense experience, where every bullet matters. The games are described as sweaty matches per stage challenge multiplayer creative director Greg Ristwolf. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. The second one is standard, which is the regular multiplayer experience players have known and experienced in Tactical Duties. The third way is Play is called Blitz. This is much more casual but super high action gameplay. This combat pacing packs as many players as possible into a single uh, map that can fit within the size of the square meters of each map. It's described as pure chaos and fun. Ristroff says that these new pacing methods will offer a huge variety of experience. Of course, it's classic multiplayer. is a new thing. Vanguard Zombies mode has always been developed by Triarch. Okay. Players will be able to try Vanguard multiplayer as part of the open beta coming up soon with full set of the game drop PC, Xbox, and PlayStation on November 5th. Vanguard will feature a new multiplayer mode called Champion Hill. Champion Hill combines elements of Battle Royale, Gunfight 2v2, and other elements in one new mode. More of a uh, new mode coming later, so we look to get a new mode in Vanguard. Vanguard multiplayer will see the return of Gunsmith, but with more features including the ability to pick up ammo type and ballistics. Gunsmith returns. Okay, Sledgehammer Games has confirmed that their series popular Gunsmith feature is returning in Vanguard. Tune options allow even greater customization, custom ballistics, and ammo types. Call of Duty Vanguard is set to be one of the biggest COD titles ever released with a huge campaign, 20 
multiplayer maps, which we uh, know, and new Warzone map will uh, select the launch before that in 2021. One of the most impressive things about COD in recent years is customization offered to players from how they how they play to what the car looks like, and even to how the guns themselves look. Players can um, fine tune their game to suit their style perfectly. One of the in-game features that allows players to do is Gunsmith with Sledgehammer Games multiplayer creative director Greg Rome will return to Vanguard with two new options. Gunsmith first appeared in Black Ops 3, but has featured more in Modern Warfare and Cold War. The feature allows players to customize and build out their weapons with credible precision, selecting multiple attachments and options to create the perfect version of the gun. With the feature appearing in the last two games alongside Warzone, it's not a huge surprise that it's returning in Vanguard. However, there has been a significant update to Gunsmith with uh, custom ballistics and ammo types available to select, giving more customization options. How these will affect weapon performance remains to be seen, but it's likely that different ammo types will deal more damage in certain scenarios. For example, some ammo types may deal more damage to vehicles, but perhaps be less effective against human players. Unfortunately, full details on ammo types and custom ballistics haven't been released just yet, but Vanguard released on November 15th. It's likely that we'll find out more in the coming weeks and months. In the meantime, players will be able to get their hands over the couple weeks and months where even everything you need to know for an incoming Vanguard open beta and test. Vanguard and multiplayer features destructible environments. Throwing your grenade in a room, everything will move, be affected. Shooting through planks, they are destroyed, creating new sight lines, destroyed door, open areas on the map more. So it looks like the map is actually going to be affected now. So if you throw a grenade at something, it's actually going to destroy it. And if you're shooting some, it's going to destroy it and there's like bullet holes and everything, which is pretty cool. Breaking Call of Duty Vanguard will have 16 core 60 feet maps, plus four maps for a new 2v2 mode for a total of 20 maps to launch, which we already know. And yes, 16 core 66 map launch. I'm not going to read this actually because since we've already been talking about this, we already know about that. And last but not least, Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies mode will be developed by Treyarch. Zombies in Vanguard will be a prologue to Black Ops Cold War's Dark Story. First time in Call of Duty history, co op will be co op mode will continue year to year. So I think this confirms that, like I said earlier, Treyarch will be doing zombies from now on for every game. They obviously they they create a cold war, and since they're doing it, Sledgehammer has Vanguard, and they're doing zombies. So it would only assume that next Call of Duty game, they will also be doing zombies in, and they're just going to be continuing the dark of the story. So for this game, it this is a basically a prologue. The zombies will be a prologue to Cold War. So. It'll be like before Cold War, and probably the next game will be continuing the story, which uh, I think it's pretty cool now that they're only going to stick to one people doing zombies. And to be honest, Trek has been the most successful doing zombies. War, War, when they did World War II zombies, I wasn't a fan of World War II zombies, i got to tell you that. I only played maybe like a couple times, and maybe played their DLC maps once, and that's when they came out. But I've never played World War II zombies again, because it wasn't my style. But now that um, Trek are taking over zombies, it uh, should be good. Now we have a little post here called Vanguard Zombies Mode Built by Trek Continues Cold War Story. Okay, Call of Duty Vanguard's third mode is confirmed to be zombies. And fans of Black Ops series and interpretation of the undead will be excited to hear that Trek are once again running point on the, on it this year. Vanguard Zombies Mode will be included with any addition of Cold War Van, uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. Players who want to experience Zombies Mode will, be, will have to purchase Vanguard, obviously. So the Chamber Game Studio head Aaron Hellmon confirmed during a Press briefing that Vanguard Zombies is a prologue to Cold Wars, uh, Cold Wars mode and will act as a continuation of the Dark storyline. So it'll be in the, the first time in the franchise history that development of co-op mode will be continued by the same developer year to year. In years past, the co-op modes have switched development studios even in the mode was even in the Zombies mode. It's a significant shift for Activision and development team. This means that Sledgehammer Games team has focused exclusively on the campaign and multiplayer uh, modes of Call of Duty Vanguard, how it affects strikes, speech development, pipeline is yet to be seen. Such Hermit Games 2017 World War II had its own zombies mode, but that was led by their own team and had its own story with Vanguard zombies being Dargitha related. There would be no follow up to the Cod War II zombie story mode or story, which, thank God. I freaking hated War II zombies and get rid of it, see ya. Uh, I'm glad. Black Ops Cold War has so far had three maps one at launch, plus two DLC maps alongside the launch of Open World Outbreak mode. So, to be honest, we could be getting an outbreak in the zombies again. We're um probably will probably be the same but different maps i couldn't I can't see them bringing outbreak to vanguard and having the same maps as they did in uh cold war but love to see outbreak return but you know hope to do some more touches on and make it fun to play because right now it's not that fun to play 
tried recently to confirm that there is another zombies map in development for Black Ops Cold War, but at least they have a map has not been announced. In the meantime, players will be able to get their hands on the game over the coming weeks and months, and we will have everything you need to uh, take part in upcoming Vanguard Alpha and open beta test. So there will be a Vanguard Alpha, which I'm guessing you don't have to purchase the game to play, but sure it will be out for everyone. And then, but when the open beta comes out, um, I'm pretty sure people w without the game will be able to play, but people with the game get to play it before. Um, people without like it'll probably be a couple weekends where the first weekend is like um, people that pre-ordered the game, and then the second weekend will be um, people that didn't. Well, it's like I know it was before. The first week was just PlayStation Four people that uh, bought the game could be the open beta. And then the, I think the second week was like Xbox, PC, and then open beta. So I'll be curious to see how they do it this time. It'll probably be the same thing. But if you guys did enjoy this video of all the information for Vanguard that we have right now, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on all the social medias down in the description below. It's where I post every time we go live upload a video. Go ahead and subscribe to Just Jabs Your Dad and King Alpha. The links are in the description below, as well as the link to the Discord if you guys do want to pre the community. And go ahead and put down in the comment section your thoughts on. Call of Duty Vanguard right now since as all the information that we have right now so you can't be like you know you can't say the game is trash when the game hasn't even come out yet so until next time I'll see you all later peace out